Weather Authority local forecast. Good evening and welcome back. Let's go ahead and take another live look outside on our RV World Yuma Skycam this morning. Well, it's overall a really great evening, but we're continuing to feel that monsoonal moisture. It's bringing us sticky conditions, but also keeping us pretty warm. Another thing that I was tracking earlier this afternoon is some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Let's go ahead and take a look at our satellite and radar as of right now, or as of earlier today and going into even our evening. We are going to continue to see that monsoonal moisture just coming up from the south and the southeast, so it's going to push through here in the desert southwest. So we'll continue to see some cloud coverage and could even see some scattered showers and thunderstorms. I mean, we saw some activity earlier today, but we could even continue to experience some light shatters even through this evening and going into the rest of the week. So with that, there is a flood watch that is currently in place until 2 a.m. tomorrow, and that'll include Yuma County and also Imperial Valley as well. So keep that in mind if you do come across any heavy rain and you come across any flooding, just make sure you turn around and don't drown. It's really important to make sure because those rain, that heavy rain could just sweep you away pretty quickly if you come across with any of that flooding. But on the other hand, looking at our current temperatures, we're staying pretty nice out there. Yeah, we're still being pretty warm at 106 currently, 94 over in Imperial, 93 in El Centro. So looking at the double digits. But again, it's still not feeling all that great due to that extra humidity that we're continuing to fill. So look at that. Even our dew points will continue to stay sticky and muggy over the next several days. And even going into tomorrow, we could see those dew points be even in the upper 60s and near that 70 degree mark. So again, it's just going to continue to feel uncomfortable over the next few days due to that monsoonal moisture and it'll just continue to linger. But looking at our future rain, here's a little bit of a look on what we can expect. So I'm still tracking that possibility where showers and thunderstorms could still develop over the next few days as we will have plenty of cloud coverage. We'll have all those ingredients for storms to continue to develop within the desert southwest, but still going to mainly see a lot of that cloud coverage sticking with us even through tomorrow. But even later on in Wednesday and going into Thursdays when we have those greater rain chances. So definitely keeping a close eye on that over the next few days to see how big that storm cell could develop. But on the other hand, if you're heading out for some dinner plans, here's a look on what you can expect. So continue to see partly cloudy skies. Temperatures will dip down into the double digits and still be pretty warm out there and also staying humid as well. But those winds will also be fairly light through our evening. So pretty enjoyable for the most part, except that humidity that will be filling. But looking at our air quality index presented by Imperial County Air Pollution Control District, Still looking pretty good. We have moderate conditions for El Central, but overall not bad. But looking at our eight day forecast, here's what the rest of the week is going to continue to look like. So our temperatures will be pretty seasonable and also below normal. So it's kind of a roller coaster with our temperatures over the next few days. But those rain chances will continue to increase come the weekend and Imperial Valley will have that similar setup with those slightly cooler temperatures and greater rain chances come this weekend. Back to you, April and Scott.